Do you have any like good tips on starting out? Like, so s- some tips I have for starting out: get your T's crossed and your I's dotted to begin with, as far as like the financial side of things goes. Um, one thing I started out, I had no idea where my money was going, how I was getting paid, all that stuff. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. The way I started out is I had a Google Sheets, which is free to use. Sign up for a Google account and use it. And pretty much everything I did, I would. There was one document that was uh, expenses. So if I bought something, I would write down what I bought, the price it costs, and the day I bought it. And I would just make that spreadsheet. And then on the other document, it was strictly income. So the income was like, okay, I got paid $500 from this person. This is the date I got paid. Here was the client. And then just keep that in a spreadsheet. And I still do that to this day, even though I have an accountant that does all my stuff. I just like to do that for my own internal stuff. Uh, The second thing is figure out your... And this kind of goes along with the same thing, but figure out your business entity to start with. Uh, there's maybe mm-hmm. an episode we can get in down the road. Eh, I don't know if we want to get into it, but there's, you know, so many different avenues you can go down where it's an LLC, an S Corp, a DBA, which is doing business as. So, you know, if it's Easton Bennett doing business as Bennett Creative Media, you can do that. But there's a lot of different legal terms in there where, you know, if you get sued for this. This is what they can take from you. But if you do a quick Google search on, you know, what all those things mean, you'll figure it out pretty easily. I just recommend doing an LLC. If you can't afford an LLC, do a DBA. But uh, those two, so get your stuff figured out in the beginning and then start. Do one thing every single day that pertains to that business that can get you to the next step. So I would say take one step a day. And there's this quote. It's from it's from a book. I don't know. I can't remember what book it is, but there's a horse and a person in a dark tunnel. And the person says, I don't know if it's a horse, but I like to say it's a horse in the dark tunnel. And the guy says he can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And he sees, can you see your next step? And he says, yes. And he says, okay, just take that. So do one thing every single day that'll get you to your 10 year goal. Not saying you have to set a 10 year goal, but just do one thing a day, whether that's in my case, it was video production. So every single day I filmed one video. And what that started with was me starting a horrible YouTube channel where the videos were really bad, but the excess amount of content that I was producing was one video a day. I was learning how to use my camera. I was learning angles. I was learning how to frame things. I was learning how to, you know, talk to the camera. So do one thing every single day, whether you're starting a bakery, bake one cake a day, figure out a new flavor every day. And then that'll, that'll hopefully get you to where you need to be the progress you'll see after like three years will be incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really like those. I think the first two were a little high level, but I I think it's good to know. And I think starting off with the third, third tip that you said is just taking that one step, Mm -hmm. figure out what that one step is. And I think that should be a good starting point. Like I know it sounds extremely simple, but at the end of the day, that's what it is. It's you just got to take one step closer to where you want to go and figure out what that is. Yeah. And I think this is one thing I'm really passionate about is that the one step cannot be in your head. If you want to start a podcast, don't just think, okay, step one today is thinking about what the first episode is. No, write something down somewhere, plan something, film the first episode, you know, do, do something actually tangible. You can't just like sit on your couch and be like, oh, what's my one step today? And just brainstorm. You actually have to go out there and physically do step one next day yeah. do step two it might take you four and a half years but it's better than there's a, the, one of my i was almost got this tattooed on me it's one day or day one you decide not the whole mm. thing because that would be a stupid tattoo but uh that's that's the quote it's like to yourself is it are you gonna keep saying one day or is today day one 